Hello, welcome to JP TV. I'm Cody Wisner with JMP Cycles, and today we're going to talk about helmet fitment. Helmet fitment isn't a true science. In fact, every helmet is like clothing. Each helmet fits differently. When ordering a helmet, it's important to know exactly what to look for in a proper helmet fitment. Here at JMP, we've put together our top fitment tips to better serve you. The first step is to measure your head. Wrap a cloth seamstress tape measure horizontally around your head, about one inch above your eyebrows. This measures the largest portion of your head. If you do not have a seamstress tape measure, but have a regular tape measure, you can make do. Find some kind of string, then wrap it around the largest portion of your head and mark it where the two ends touch. Then, use your regular tape measure to measure it. Either way you do it, measure several times before you order. Now check the fitment chart for the brand of helmet you want to buy and select the helmet closest to your head size. If your head measurement falls in between two sizes, choose the smaller helmet size. You can find that fitment chart in the JMP Cycles catalog or on our website at jpcycles.com. Another important tip is knowing that people have different shaped heads. It makes sense that helmets come in a variety of sizes and shapes. There is round, oval, egg, and reverse egg. Be sure to know your head shape. Try on the helmet! When getting ready to try on the helmet, expand the opening with your hands and then slide it onto your head. Only pull on the chin strap, not the chin strap covers. If you pull on the covers, this will cause them to rip. If you've never worn a helmet before, a properly fitting helmet will be very snug. Now one thing to consider is after wearing the helmet for a while, it will break in to fit your head a little bit better and will become a little bit looser as time goes on. To ensure the absolute best fit, go through the following steps with the helmet on. Number one, does the helmet's inner lining fit snugly around your head? Number two, does the helmet's top pad press closely on the top of your head? Number three, are the cheek pads touching your cheeks? Number four, does the brow lining fit snugly against your brow? With a proper fitting helmet, you should have answered yes to all these questions. Also, you should not be able to insert your fingers between the lining and your brow. Next, hold onto the helmet with the hand on each side. Without moving your head, attempt to move the helmet from side to side and up and down. If you're able to move the helmet, it is too big and you should try a smaller size. Check the retention system. An extremely important step that most people overlook is tightening the chin strap. Fasten the chin strap so that it fits snugly against your chin. Two, with the chin strap secured, put your hands flat on the back of the helmet and attempt to pull the helmet off by rotating it forward. Three, then put your hands on the front of the helmet, above your forehead or under the chin guard and try to push the helmet off by rotating it to the rear. Four, if the helmet begins to come off in either direction, do not use it. It's the wrong size for you. To securely fasten the D-ring retention system, thread the end of the chin strap through both D-rings, loop the strap back over the second ring, and pass it back through the first ring as in this demonstration. Pull this tight against the throat for a snug fit. Doing this with gloves on can be pretty difficult, so either take off your gloves or purchase the fast hook system from JMP Cycles for a quick, permanent installation and a simple push and click connection. Take the time needed to pick out the right helmet for you. As always, JMP Cycles is here to help when it comes time to purchase that new helmet. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.